Hi everyone, welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today we're going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this Corsair Hydro Series H100 Extreme Performance Liquid CPU Cooler. Now, I know we are anxious to take a look at the product, but real quick, a few things to go over on the box. First off, this includes a block, a pump, and a radiator, all in one single self-contained unit, and it is compatible with Intel LGA775, 1155, 1156, and 1366 sockets, as well as AMD AM2 and AM3. AM3 means it will also fit AM3 Plus sockets. We are also very curious about the specifications, and more specifically, the dimensions because if you're installing uh, liquid cooling, you probably want to make sure you have enough room for it. Uh, the radiator itself is 122 millimeters by 275 millimeters by 27 millimeters high, and the fans are uh, 120 millimeter fans, and they're 25 millimeters high, so total depth there of 25 plus 27, 52 millimeters, which you will need in your case. I uh, also wanted to point out different CPUs are going to have different temperatures depending on the CPU, depending on the environment, but Corsair has given you an example right here of a Core i7-920 overclocked to 3.8 GHz under 100% load, in which situation your stock CPU cooler will most likely explode into flames of course, but the Hydro Series H60 for example will keep it at 78.9, the H80 will keep it at 68.2, and the H100 in their test kept it at 66.5 degrees Celsius, uh, which is some very impressive cooling performance. Uh, and that is, of course, because this is a liquid cooler. We also have some digital support up here on the top of the box. You can purchase a, the Corsair Link Commander, which uh, sounds really cool, but unfortunately is sold separately. But you can use that to use some extra digital controls for this liquid CPU cooler. And next up we have the fantastic unboxing. Oops, that's just some styrofoam. We don't care about that. Uh, we have some informational information here. Do not return this to the place where you bought it. Go ahead and contact Corsair if you need any service. We have a Hydro Series uh, installation guide as well as um, some pictorial information here on installing the actual product and letting you know what comes with it. Here's a look at the other side. Now you know how to install it. Uh, what else do we have? Well, we have the unit itself which I'll save for last. Uh, we have some brackets here. We have a CPU back plate, or motherboard back plate there. We also have some more retention brackets, which I am sure are detailed in the manual as far as uh, which particular socket those are used for. We have plenty of black screws here for mounting. Some of them are thumb screws, some of them are not. Uh, again, this does require some installation, which we will uh, at least give a brief demonstration of uh, once we get the product out. Here are your two 120 millimeter Corsair fans. And then we have the H100 itself, which is in a plastic baggie. Let me get that out of that and then we'll take a closer look. And now folks, here is a look at the H100 itself. And as we can see, it has a double wide radiator. This is a 240 millimeter radiator. The reason that the H100 performs, for example, better than the H60 or the H80 is we have more surface area here. Uh, with the dual fans, you can have more cubic feet per minute of uh, air flowing through this and therefore more heat dissipation. So as you can see, you have mounting points for two fans right there. That would match up with these. You can orient them however you want, push or pull, whichever works best for your circumstances. Uh, you can even, if, you're, if you so desire, mount two more fans to the bottom. Uh, you'd need a few more, uh, a little bit more hardware to do that as far as screws go, but that is an option you have. I've seen a few configurations that use that. Uh, but as far as this goes, usually you would mount uh, this end to the top of your case. You would mount your fans on the bottom and uh, you could push air through. Again, lots of different configurations options for this. Here we can see the rest of the cooling loop. The uh, tube's going here to deliver the warm liquid to the radiator and bring back the cool liquid back to the CPU block. Here's your power connector to connect to your power supply to deliver power to this entire unit. Here is your CPU block and pump. It's an all-in-one unit right there. And um, let me twist it around to the back so you can see it does have thermal paste that's pre-applied in a square right there to go onto your CPU uh, cooling plate. Over on this side, we can see uh, this little three, this little, wait, I apologize, there's not a connector right there. Uh, what we do have here is four plugins and those are for your fans. You can route your cooling fans directly to this and that way you can use the push button fan control on here to control the fan speed. Speaking of that, 
I may twist this around. There is the push button fan control. Uh, it's got a light up meter on it, so you push the button and it will go into uh, one, two, or three of those little bars will light up and indicate uh, how fast your fans are moving. And then I had it just a moment ago. There it is. Uh, there is where you would connect your digital commander unit if you wanted to uh, have a little bit more control over this. Again, that is sold separately. And that pretty much wraps it up for this water block. I did want to mention a few more things moving on over here to the accessories. Uh, for example, that baggie of screws there, you have all these which are uh, designed to plug or to connect your fans to the radiator. Uh, and then you have several uh, mounting solutions. For example, this is your back plate for your LGA sockets for Intel CPUs. Uh, you have four of these uh, thumb screws that you use to mount those on. Right now I have those attached over there. These little guys will slide depending on your, the CPU socket you use. These uh, bolts here are for most of your CPU sockets. And then these four here are labeled as LGA 2011. And I stopped for a moment and double checked because I didn't see LGA 2011 on the box, at least not on the front. But then somewhere else, oh yes, down here on the bottom, we have LGA 2011 listed. So uh, yes, folks, from everything I can tell here, this H100 is for compatible with Intel's upcoming LGA 2011 socket for your high performance Sandy or Ivy Bridge processors. So that's something to be excited about. Uh, up here we have some more uh, bolts for mounting the radiator to your case as well as washers. And then we have our AMD cooling solution right there. You just need to remove these brackets here from the sides. They're simply bolted on with Phillips head screws. You attach these two and then these little hooks there with the thumb screws will allow you to clip that onto your uh, socket AM2 or AM3 or AM3 plus bracket. Uh, again, as we showed you earlier, there's your two 220 millimeter cooling fans, and that pretty much does it for our accessories. And that is going to wrap it up for our unboxing and overview. Once again, this has been the Corsair Hydro Series H100 Extreme Performance Liquid CPU Cooler. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.